It's a part of your commute that might seem like it's slowing you down. But in reality, it is speeding things up and keeping you safe. What are the benefits of ramp meters? Good question. Jeff Wagner takes us on a road trip to see how they work. How would you describe traffic nowadays? I feel like it's increased since the pandemic. There's a lot more cars on the road. It's very noticeable. If you've hit the road on Twin Cities highways, you've likely noticed that traffic volume is nearly back to pre-pandemic levels, only off by about 5%. Ever the more reason these mini stoplights, known as ramp meters, are getting heavy use again. What would their purpose be? I'm sure that they help get the flow of traffic a little bit more consistent where it like normally would bottleneck. Especially since I have kids, um, I just feel like it just makes it a lot safer. We are seeing some breakdowns because people are slowing down to kind of let that traffic enter. Brian Carey is the Director of Traffic Operations for MnDOT's Regional Transportation Management Center. What is the point of the ramp meters? Yeah, the meters will help break up platoons, so groups of vehicles that enter at the same time. And if all those vehicles enter at the same time, people on the main line have to slow down, and that's what really kind of triggers that congestion and con uh, triggers those breakdowns in traffic flow. The meters aren't running all day. They turn on during the rush hour periods from 5.30 to 10 in the morning and 2 to 7 in the evening. But just because they're on doesn't mean you'll always be stopped. There's traffic sensors on the roadway that'll kind of measure the amount of traffic that's out there. And every 30 seconds, that meter is determining, do I turn on or don't I turn on? And then when conditions are right, that's when the meter will activate. The time interval between red and green lights is constantly changing because the meters are getting real-time updates on the traffic on the main highway and how many cars are actually on the ramp. If that ramp looks like it's going to start backing up onto the cross street, that'll also cause it to start to speed up so that we don't interrupt that, that cross traffic, even if the main line can't handle it. What do you think would happen if they turned them all off for a day? What would traffic be like? I'm sure it would be chaotic. I think it would be a lot of uh, backed up traffic. 22 years ago, state leaders were curious as well. So MnDOT did a study turning off all 430 meters for six weeks. It found there was a 22% increase in travel times a 7% decrease in freeway speeds, and a 26% increase in crashes. So it showed that they really did work. Jeff Wagner. It doesn't surprise me. WCCO. It makes me feel grateful because obviously I don't want to be in an accident. Four News. MnDOT staff can manually turn them on as well. And they'll do that for large events like a Vikings game on a Sunday or to control traffic if there is a construction or a crash. If you have a good question for Jeff, you can email him by visiting WCCO.com slash links.